Hey guys, Sean Zim, the Connection Machine, aka the Insurance Doctor, and the host for the Network Marketing Insider, where we're going to bring guests come on and they share their story. They talk about how they got involved with network marketing and how the you know highs and the lows and how they deal with rejection and and some strategies that are working for them that they tried. We don't even have to talk about the companies per se, but we want to share how those myths that are out there that you can make money if you are one that's working on the business itself. A couple of housekeeping, those that are popping in, if you're watching us, please drop, the least you can do is drop a hashtag live. If you're on the replay, hashtag replay. And if you're one that's an overachiever, where are you watching us from? Drop it in the comments and also any questions. And if you're one that really supports us, please drop emojis every couple minutes. If you have a favorite thumbs up, a fist, you might have the fire, whatever is your favorite, drop that in there. And the last, but I want to make sure that you guys see is if you haven't joined, got back up. If you've lost pictures in the past, you have iCloud, Dropbox, or Google Drive, this is the best thing that's going right now. It's $9.97 per month for six terabytes of storage. Don't ever lose it. And the security is phenomenal, guys. And the older you are, I know some of you get all nervous. Again, we have all the abilities to keep everything secure we make sure that you are in control of what's going on you never lose those favorite pictures those favorite videos and also if you might have documents like contracts and things like that make sure with this company again you have a couple plans i recommend the 997 per month six terabytes you could also have the enterprise but it's up to you i always want to share something that i am doing so let me stop this share Bring me back in, and the next thing I want to bring is our guest. Let me bring in Mirzdo, and I hope I'm saying that correct. It's Mirza. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. Got it. Got it. No, I appreciate you coming in and sharing some value with us today. And I love to share, um, you know, information to teach other people because me talking what I'm doing. I want to, we, we learn by listening to others. So I would love the first, where are you coming from right now? Where are you, uh, you know, tuning in from? I live in Garden Grove, California, Southern California, right? About 20 minutes from Disneyland and about minutes from the beaches too. So it's, it's really nice. How hot is it out by you guys are having a heat wave? No, no, not, not where we are because we live by the beaches. So like they say in the desert is 120 and then in the mountains is 110, beaches 75. So we're in the cool end of that. So it's the the weather here is is very nice. Very nice. That's awesome. That's I appreciate you, you know, taking some time out of your morning. That's over by you. I'm in Jersey. We are have a heat wave as well in our summer. And uh we can do this, guys. Anywhere in the world, we can collaborate, we can connect, we can share what we're doing by using technology like we're doing right now. Sometimes you meet people in person. Maybe some people go to events. This is a huge opportunity for us to just share. And I appreciate you taking some time out. Now, why did you get into network marketing? I like to like, take us back. What were some of the earliest int- you know, interventions that you might have had with it? The reason I got into it was to share something that I I was learning and that I thought nobody else was you know knew about. Because I had, I was learning about essential oils, and I felt that nobody knew about essential oils at that time, which was 20 years ago. No, well, not quite 20, but almost 20 in 2007. And I just felt that I needed to get that information out to others. And I felt that that God was just really pushing me to do that and to get onto the leadership um, path in order to do that. And, and slowly but surely, I got to know what network marketing was really all about. Because my upline, the person that that shared with me about essential oils and about another supplement, she didn't know anything about network marketing. She told me, no, but I I haven't known anybody that makes money with this. And I was was kind of flabbergasted about that uh, because I asked her- And this is your upline, right? You said this is your upline. Exactly, exactly. So she was in it just really also to just teach others about all the, about the products, about essential oils, pretty much. And so um, I just kind of got on the path on my own. And it's been 
many years that have passed since since then and i just really love just sharing what i know and now i really see the value of the network marketing profession and how it just really helps us to impact so many people with what we know but giving them a way to also not be financially stressed which is i think is the biggest problem that that we face in this world so that is why i love network marketing now it's not just teaching about what i've learned about the products but it's helping others to see that there is a way to build up a passive income that will help them just not be so stressed each month how am i going to pay the bills how can i go on vacation how can i go to do something like a you know just like an amusement park i mean amusement parks are so expensive now right oh yeah take a family of four over there and it's costing you 300 dollars at least you know so to take away the financial stress so but that's what i learned after being consistent with network marketing over the years and, and seeing the impact that this model can have. I know Meredith was saying being consistent, that's a powerful word. And it's mm -hmm. something that people don't realize. You have to be consistent. You have to make either phone calls, you have to send stuff out, you got to have meetings, you might have to do social media. And that's important to put some time into some work. And it's funny how you said it. now you're learning the extra as far as building a business because you mentioned sharing and a lot of people are afraid to go into network marketing. I don't want to sell something. I don't like sales, this and that. And mm -hmm. if in reality, everything that we do in life is sales, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We are selling ourselves we are selling to our children we're selling to our you know prospects and it's sharing what's important you got in, involved with essential er, um, oils early on and right. i like and i watched the video before we even went live and you talked about what the uses of it was for can you explain yeah i didn't know anything about essential oils at all when i first got involved and so I saw that it wasn't just for aroma because a lot of people, like after I kind of got involved with that for a little bit, I saw that lavender was being used a lot for just kind of aromatherapy. But then through that, I learned that actually it's not just aromatherapy, it's just we can put it on our skin as long as it's a good quality. We can use it to help uh, um, clean our homes in a non-toxic environment. So it's really great for kids and pets and just, but as long as you have good quality and the, uh, unfortunately, most of the quality is not good. So that's why it's so important to research and make sure that the essential oils that we do get come from a good source, you know, but yeah, so we, we um, I love the other aromatherapy that it has, but it, it but I, I also like that it helps us emotionally and physically and mentally it helps us to to clear our thoughts it helps us to calm down there are just so many uses for essential oils that i just i never knew and i just want others to to experience as well because if we don't experience them ourselves in our own life there's no way we're going to be able to know how potent they truly are look at the sales that just went on right there Mm -hmm. Mirza was just going and is enthusiastic, had a smile, was yeah. explaining and was very passionate about it. That's how you can come across with video. That's how you put yourself out there. And that's how easy network marketing can be as far as mm -hmm. putting content, you're teaching, you're sharing. And it's something that a lot of people don't understand. It's we are doing what you're we don't want to do. Right. Right. So, Exactly. When you are talking about network marketing, you have, um, you know, to educate. You said research. People right. need to research companies that they're going into so they know what's going on, how, if it's a product or a service, what it's going to do for other people and if it's safe. Now, mm -hmm. when you are doing the network marketing research, how can you talk about your team building? How does it go about? And here's my daughter. We have, she wanted to make a little appearance. There's <laughs> Olivia, say hi. Now go, go play. Um, how is it set up as far as building a team and how important is that? So 
what I've learned just recently is that building a team can be very easy, but we need to have a system that will, will support that. And the, the system that, that I've now been using is called Own Your Life. And I'm sure you've, you've heard it. And from our previous, uh, from your previous po uh, podcast with Candon, we also learned about that Own Your Life and how we can just very easily just teach people how to drive first, which means that we show them how network marketing actually works and how like it multiplies our impact. For example, two by two, you know, two times two is four, four times two is eight, and then um, eight times two is 16. So like we see the impact multiply, you know, instead of just our own effort, if we teach two people that will teach more, two more people, we are gonna be able to impact and reach so many more people that way. And if we take it one step further, you know, three times three is nine, you know, we, we, we talk to three people who share with three each with three people. Now we have two times three is nine, nine times three is 27. Now we've impacted 27 people. I mean, that's that just blows my mind, you know, and that that is how we are building a team. Just like that, you know, how, showing them how simple it is to really just do it and how just by by adding one more person that we share, we can, you know, continually get more until we get you know, we don't need a whole bunch. We don't need to share with a whole bunch of people because that's, you know, um, that's what most people do. They get a hundred people and nobody can duplicate getting a hundred people. But if we just, you know, focus on getting five to 10 people max, you know, those 10 people are going to be able to duplicate very easily, maybe not super easily, but you know, if they start two by two doing duplicating that, they can share that and that's how we build a team and building a team is really the way to to make not just make an impact but make the money that we desire to make and so that we can have that passing income Grow. of course this is not going to happen overnight right it could happen but most of us don't have that don't, don't, aren't um aren't yet in that impact place we are listening to what we're saying. Most of us are not yet, but as time goes by, we'll be able to to be more impactful. And what is the value that we're doing? Definitely the drive to have other individuals that are like us. If we can duplicate what we're doing and teach somebody else, that's why it's easier to work with five people rather than a hundred people. So exactly. you might sign up, people say, oh, I signed up. And the salespeople, when they go into network marketing, they fail because they bring in a hundred people, they sell a hundred products and it doesn't happen the next month. Exactly. Because those hundred people are not trained. They don't understand the mindset of leveraging someone else's time. So Correct. if you're working and I'm working and Candon's working and, and Jeff's working, that's four people that can take on the world because we're going to be teaching other people to get two other people, four other people, six. And then once they can duplicate down three levels, if you can get that three, man, you can kind of like step away and mm -hmm. continue helping others grow. And that's where that upline, like Mirza was saying, wasn't there in the beginning in that one business you had. They didn't even understand what network marketing is. You want to be that one that go hey, to to help others to mm -hmm. join, to get on board, to have questions asked. So exactly. you're more of an authority. So it's definitely own your life is a powerful one, technique to utilize. One. Yeah, this one. Um, and to help one. others understand yeah, before they get into it. Right now, now, with social media, we all, in the beginning, a lot of people with network marketing had to go in people's homes. They had to make a lot of phone calls. Now, let's help people with social media. Any strategies, any tips you can share on what works or what you think is is helping you build your brand, your personal brand? Yes, the, the biggest the biggest one is reels. Learning to to know, learning how to create reels. That's what something that I learned how that I started learning how to do last year around March. So it's been about a year that I've been doing reels. And the reason I say reels and not videos is because most people don't want to spend time watching 10, even 10 minute videos, 
you know, even at five minutes, they kind of tune out, you know, so by, by do, doing short videos, sometimes us talking, sometimes it just being kind of like a background, uh, just a peaceful background and then putting words to it. I mean, as we, as we learn how to do it, you know, people, more people are going to watch the, the reels and see what we value, you know, and they're going to, they're going to follow us. And I've seen that I've gotten a lot of followers through that. A lot of, a lot of people watch the video, the, the reel, sorry, watch the reels. And then they follow me because of the reel. And then, you know, as the more that I do them, the more, you know, they're going to listen to the messages. Sometimes they, they watch it more, you know, depending on what reel I am and what, you know, what kind of messages they are tuning into. Because of course, like, you know, um, social media, there's so, always so much going on, right? So are we going to stop? Um, what is going to stop us to listen to the message? That's what we need to, to think about, you know, but always share that's going to be valuable. And reels keep it short, you know, between one minute and one and a half tops. But I would I would keep it at one minute. So that's why I like reels, and I think is it's something that that all of us should learn how to do. Even no, I to totally agree. Totally, go ahead. Let uh, I just wanted to insert that that even if we're not techie, because I'm not techie, I'm not technical at all, but. I took the time. I like I I um, I asked someone that knew how to do it that it, that that was doing this that was doing reels, and I thought, okay, I think I need to learn how to do this because I'm always interested in what people do, and what they were do the way they were doing the reels was so informative and so interesting and so fun and getting the message across. I thought this is something I need to learn to do. So she sh she gave me some YouTube videos that I could study. And little at first, of course, I was not good at it, but as I, when I didn't give up, but I consistently, there's that word again, right? That, that we talked about before consistency, as I consistently did more and more reels, um, I got better at it. And, and now I just love, I love doing reels and I do it at least once a week. So. Totally agree. And want to remind those that are out there, yeah, doing reels, doing shorts on YouTube, Mm -hmm. Make sure with um, a lot of people watch videos without sound. So make sure if you don't, Mirza, if you're not using it, I, I'm not sure if you are. I haven't, um, making sure you have captions. Mm -hmm. Make sure captions are there. Most of the time, 85% of people are watching videos just sitting in their bed without their sound on so they can read what you're saying, which is very powerful. Making sure that you are tagging other people as well and and also making sure you're you know doing reels as often as you can because um you can do it daily i do a few times a day now i used to do once a week now i'm doing between three and sometimes four but i have and i've done it so you know long i have the time i have the practice i know how to get videos done in a short period of time but it takes practice, you know, right. it's something it's important to people understand being tech savvy. I agree. Recently, I've been learning different things. I don't need a website anymore. I, I'm mm -hmm. developing funnels, you know, I making sure that and I create the funnels and I don't use the big companies out there. I'm able to do it for free. Mm -hmm. And people are like, wait, what? And I would love for t I teach people how to do that. And people are like, wow, why? Because if you give value to other people. Yeah. You well, it allows them to connect with you. And what? That is a peep. What? The other you go to school, you be the teacher. I'm the teacher, right? I like to teach, right? Yes. And teach your kids. I'm, yes, I'm teaching right now. We're we're learning. Yeah. Now, when we continue, this is another reason I have four of these kids. I have my three daughters and my son, and that's what pushes me to wake up every day to provide value on a consistent basis. The whys are important. Mm -hmm. I know you have a son. I have a son. Actually, I, I have one son, and then I actually have two step two step boys who are older, and then a little girl. So when I went, I I got remarried, and I had one boy. I had been a working single mom, and then when I got married, my husband wanted me to stay home so that I could take a take care of his two boys, um, because a month before we we got married their 
their mom actually passed away. Uh, like he had been divorced for five years, but his but his mom, him, their mom, his ex-wife had um, passed away a month before. So my husband asked me if I could stay home with them. And I had always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, so I had no problem with it. But of course, it's, it, it came with a lot of, you know, challenges. And then we also, a, a year later, we had a little girl. So we have three boys and a little girl, but now they're all, they're 33, 31, 25, and 20. So they're all. We're safe. Why are bad? We must have had, she's still there. The camera just went off. She might be on her phone. The, the power is, and just so you know, Mirza was saying, we all find time. We could be one that is. You know, everyone says that we're busy. I have kids. I'm married. I, I don't have the time to do certain things. We all have time. But it's important that people understand well, you have to be strategic with your time. And if you have pockets of time throughout your day, you might be doing content videos. You might be doing emails. You might be setting up text messages. Maybe you're tweaking your, your uh, funnels that you're creating. Maybe you're coming up with different faceless videos which those that are not doing those those are powerful too you don't have to be on the camera itself you could be one that's just you know um you know sharing information let me switch over yeah. here let me go back over here Slides. Is it this i think we lost it for a moment but she'll she'll probably be back yeah. um we are again always making sure the top of mind is getting back into consistency and it seems like with consistency you'll see more opportunities come your way you know it's something that can happen i know a lot of you are doing some image marketing which you're using canva you're using some different apps you're putting some text and some images and putting it out there great I challenge you to start doing some live video if you can on Facebook, on, on Instagram, if you can and get the following, if you get on LinkedIn, YouTube, develop a YouTube channel, and also having a podcast. Shh. When you have a podcast, you can bring on guests. You got more than one person, have a mastermind, share your knowledge. And I think, let me just see if Mirza's is here. I think your camera is not, we lost your camera. Yeah. But, but we're uh, going to give her a couple more minutes. A um, couple things I yeah. shared before. Got back up. Make hey, sure Dad. you check. Dad, I'm, I'm you talking know. right now. You go listen. Listen to what Daddy's saying. You got to make sure you check out. Got back up. You get six terabytes of storage for nine ninety seven a month. You can become a reseller as well if you want to have some information of how to make it for free. Look, you know, reach out to me. We have other opportunities to get on board. It depends on you and what you're looking to do. And if you have friends that are teachers, friends that are into different small business that need more teachers. money, reach out because I would love to help you have a side hustle, have another funnel of income that you can have to bring money in to pay the extra bills, to pay for vacations, etc. Let's see. Oh, maybe she's back here. Let me just bring her in here. I don't know what there happened. There she is. There you <laughs> are. Sudden, I, yeah, hi. <laughs> I don't know why Why all of a sudden it was muted. And my my camera just went off flying. I don't know why that happened. I don't know either. It's, it's You know why? It's because of technology. And look at, guys. You have action takers right here. Two of us. Me and you are action takers. Hey, I keep, I keep going no matter what. Technology, it's going to fail. But we have right. to be... Another word we talk about is pers uh, persistent. Mm -hmm. And if you're not persistent, you don't deal with the rejection right. You don't keep pushing through. That's that's some issues that people have. So I right. definitely want to you know remind those that are out there. What about, and I want to end on personal development. In a lot of companies, they have some, you know, they teach you some of, some of it. I've learned some with some companies and also on my own with books. How important is personal development for those that are getting into network marketing? I think personal development is key. We Personal development is what helps us uh, create the confidence that 
that will help us deal with rejection, deal with the stress that comes from day to day, um, from just the doubts that are, that are coming at us all the time, because there's always going to be something that is going to be discouraging, always. And so learning the skills to help us overcome these things is, is, really, is really very helpful. So we need to make personal development something that we do daily, whether it's with books or whether it's a podcast or, you know, I, uh, pers- uh, a lot of my personal development, you know, I'm Christian. So, yeah, um, so it really helps to, to have faith for me um, to, like, do the things that strengthen my faith. That is part of personal development as well. You know, so and I, I am part of a of a company that is all about personal development. I, I listen to their daily fire and I take courses. I used to be I still read books, but that's how I started getting into personal development was through books. But personal development is, is just key. You know, that's that's something that's something that that helps us to grow as people. It helps us to build our character. It helps us to just overcome all those all those things because if our mindset isn't good we're not going to succeed Uh, the first thing that we that we need to work on is our mindset and getting away learning how to deal with that with the hard things so that we can keep going and persevering and being consistent even though others are going to tell us things that that you know that kind of make us feel that we shouldn't keep going (laughs) so personal development is key yeah. Well said. Well said. Yeah. And it's something that will allow you to have that growth mindset. Right. You know, deal with rejection and have that growth mindset. Definitely a, a great piece to have. Right. The final thing I want to share and I want to go over before we end. You were nervous for doing our podcast. Can you talk to us about how you were feeling before the podcast and during and then now? So uh, when when I I've never done anything like this before and like like um, when like always you know when we start doing when we have to do something that is out of our comfort zone we're always going to feel nervous and so what helps me is praying and asking God to just fill me with His presence and to and then I like at, at, I put on an essential oil that's called valor that helps me just remember that God is with me and then I can just do what I need to do. And when I got on this podcast, yes, I was nervous, but I knew that God was with me and that everything was going to go well, you know, and, and uh, as I talked to you, you kind of just guided the conversation and I just felt very calm. I could just say, you know, just answer the questions. And I knew that, that I could just, that it was okay. If I messed up, it was okay. If the technology wasn't working, you know, I didn't have to get flustered about it you know i did it's easy to get flustered right what would we have like what we talking about before the personal development it used to be that i would get so flustered that i was like oh i can't believe the technology isn't working but it's like it happens you know it always happens and so by just having that mentality of everything is going to be okay everything is going the way it needs to go just go with the flow i can end this saying yes i'm not nervous anymore i you know i I'm providing value, like you were saying at the beginning. You know, we're just here to provide value, to help people understand better what the network marketing um, profession is all about, how it can, how we can impact the lives of so many people much better, you know, much, um, much more than on our own efforts. And that's why, you know, and that's what we're trying to do. So we're here for a reason. And when we have that mentality, you know, that we're helping others, that we're impacting lives, our nervousness kind of goes away to the to the side, you know, because it's not about us. It's about helping others. That was awesome. That was very well said. And doing lives can be a fear that people have. And then now I'm throwing on my end, I have this one that doesn't like to listen, <laughs> that um, I want to get things done i want to make sure that they see how hard you can work you're a mentor to other people so yes no matter what people want to know that you're a human being as well so maybe you're on a phone call and you have your kids in the background that's fine 
People are always worried about it. We're doing a podcast providing value. I'm hitting mute a lot so you don't hear what's going on. But it's allowing us to still do our jobs to really educate other individuals. And I appreciate you sharing how you felt, being transparent, and being outside your comfort zone. Because, yes, that's where a lot of growth happens. Hold on, we're almost done. For those that are popping in now, I want to make sure you understand. You're going to wait till this uploads. Get it from the beginning. Take some notes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Drop a like and share, share, share this video. So we know we can help more people. Don't forget on YouTube or wherever you're listening us, you know, with a couple of uh, podcast cha- uh, channels out there, look at the description as well and connect with Mirza. It's all there, all our information. You can see her bio, see a couple links, join what she's doing, get involved, ask questions because we all want to grow. Why not get on her team and why not get on board? If you're looking for network marketing, do something for with us, with Mirza. It's, we're here to, we're open books. We're all a community. We're all going to continue growing. And I want to thank you again for being with us today. You're welcome. Thank you for asking me to participate. You're welcome. I would love for this. Is I, I used to do this, and I haven't done this in the last couple podcasts. I want you to think about somebody we can get into your seat in the next time. So think about that next. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Until the next one, have an awesome rest of your day. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.